Hello and welcome to the new horror game series chosen by the Wheel of Fortune Wheel of Fortune Wheel of Horror itself which means uh if you don't know I spin a wheel for what horror game to play it's pretty fun just letting letting it happen um every experience so far has been great so I'm assuming this one will be too um so yes, this is Fran Bo. It is... I think it's point and click. I'm like 90% sure, but I actually don't know much about the game itself. Um, but 90% sure it's point and click, which means we have officially broken our, our, our RPG Maker horror streak. Because the past four games we played were RPG Maker games. To be fair, two of them were... I played because I wanted to, because I bought, like, because it was on sale for, like, $2, I think, like, a pair of games, so I, I bought both of them. But the other two were completely RNG spun by the wheel, so, um, so yeah, four in a row, it's time for something fresh. We just finished Yumi Niki, um, great, great game, I, it was definitely a fun experience, so I'll be, I'll be frank. I don't know if I would consider it a horror game. It definitely had horror elements, but I wasn't scared f throughout the whole playthrough. Though that is my opinion, because I do remember when looking through the internet about it, there's some guy who wrote a review, it's like, titled, Why Yumi Niki is scarier than any other horror game. Any other modern horror game. So obviously it's just, it's an opinion, but, and I'm, TV, and again, I'm pretty new to horror games, so I don't have a huge collection of experience, but I am a... I have watched a lot, <laughs> a lot of horror movies, so... I'm, I'm, I'm not new to horror itself, just new to horror games. Um, this is also probably one of the first point-and-click <laughs> games, if it is point-and-click. I'll, I'll seem silly if it... It's not, but I, I really do think it is. Um, especially horror games. Like I said, the only thing we're experienced are at in horror games is RPG Maker horror games. So hopefully we'll be good at this. Um, the only point of the game I've had that I played that I actually remember was like a game where you played as like a cockroach in like the apocalypse. That game was fun. <laughs> but I, I think point and click games are like puzzles where you get items then interact with them sort of those like sort of those fetch fetch quests if you call them um so maybe i'll be good at them i, I i'll be honest i'm not great at puzzles but from from not yumi niki since it didn't really have puzzles but from like especially uh mad father and misao there's a lot of those find items interact with certain spaces to complete the puzzles and there probably will just be normal puzzles too so good stuff also you might think this is coming out earlier because i said i might not start recording it yet until i'm done with the higurashi theory sheet and i'll be honest i was procrastinating a bit on the higurashi theory sheet um it, it's in my nature when i have something some something important to do I, I do like to procrastinate but that nap it is good news if you are a Hidarashi viewer it is coming along smoothly so you should see that earliest next week when this is posted this is posted Wednesday so that's week after that you might see it latest the week after I'll try to get it out though but for now new adventure Franbo so I literally do not know anything about this game, except that it's very high, highly regarded. Like the Steam reviews are great. I've definitely heard the name before. Um, so that's good. Out of probably most of the Wheel of Horror games, except for like a couple, it's definitely on the upper echelon of games for that. So I'm excited. I like I like this title screen with the uh, the girl following the mouse. It's kind of giving me, it's giving me good vibes. It reminds me kind of, um, to tell it, American McGee's Alice in Wonderland. I don't know, that's the vibe I'm getting just from this title screen. So let's see it. Um, options, I turned on the volume because 
I I always have a volume problem though, and I and I'm usually kind of slow to fix it. So if that happens, uh, let me know, or I will fix it. But it might be a bit. Also turned off full screen because I like tiny games. Let's just get into this though. New game. This game uses an autosave feature. Beautiful. I'm a frantic saver. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Ooh. I see my parents. That is pretty spookers. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's gonna be a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight, my best friend, my only friend. We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. <laughs> Look at the chat. <laughs> We're having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Whoa. That. It got me a little bit. I was not prepared. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it, it scares me. It looks like the devil to me. Or some sort of demon. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. Can't scare me this time and closer. I've steeled myself. <laughs> it's a knife. Mom? Dad? Oh god, please don't. Mommy, daddy. Oh god. Really did it with just a knife? It's pretty impressive. And we ran away with the cat. Oh, so the volume increased a lot. No, the cat. Don't leave. Oh, wait. We're getting kidnapped? Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One, two. We're in a hospital. Three. Or, Fran, how do you feel? I feel like dying. I'm fine, I guess. Hmm. How would I feel if I was in Fran's shoes? It's hard to say. I'm gonna go with I'm fine, I guess. But that might be a lie. I'm not sure. I'm fine, I guess. I'm j just sad to see the same thing. Sadness is something everybody has within. You know what? We're a detective at heart in this channel. I want to find the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. Now, honestly, I'll just say this. It typically... The killers is like pre-introduced characters, though we still are in the beginning, so it might not be, but I'm like betting it's the ant. <laughs> Especially since they said she was nice. Um, I'll find my cat and the killer. Yes, we are motivated. 
poor cat. Your cat is missing. It will be impossible to get him back. Well, you never know. It'll definitely be hard, though. By now, but now I have something for you, friend. What is it? See the dust? There's a little package for you. I gotta say, I love the aesthetics here. It's a pretty unique art style. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Especially Fran. She looks adorable. It's point and click. I am now not embarrassed. I think. It's point and click. Okay. First point and click game. I'm excited. That jump scare though. It got me. I was not prepared. Though I do have a habit of uh, falling for the first jump scare. Whenever um, it happens, or like in movies, even if the movie's bad, the first jump scare always gets me. We yoinked it. This was my mother's point purse. What's inside? Open it. There's something inside. Lost and found. Here's the purse you liked so much, I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine and combine them with other things. I see. So I hope I'll, you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things. So it's like our backpack. I got it, I got it. Examine and combine things. I like, I like it when they... When they do, uh... The instructions in the dialogue. And that one actually felt felt uh, kind of natural. And Grace, again, you are, are, you could be a good person. Who knows? It's still the introduction. This doctor could be evil. I mean, we've been clicking A. I'm not, I don't have an A bias because my name's Aiden, but Aunt Grace. Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But yeah, we're not gonna be moody. This is a. Uh, we're gonna be a uh, smart and smart, but like I don't know, realistic. Uh, it's time for your new medicine. I mean, I don't want medicine. I don't know what, I'm guessing this is, actually I don't know. It looks like a pretty shabby place. What medicine? It's called Duotine and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. I don't know medicine, but I don't like it. <laughs> you look like a robot. Actually more like a management puppet. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? I don't know what uh, country produced this either. I guess I will check that all out after the video. Since there was like different language options. It, just from the dialogue, it does seem like it is translated from another language. Not that that's a bad thing. Oh, I see. There's no lot bots. It's a point and click, not a VN. I missed a bit. And I can't go back, I'm sorry. Here, fan, take your medicine. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. I'll take them, but I won't. Oh, I was trying to say put it in the bed. I don't feel good. Holy shit. Um. Oh no, take her back to the room. That was intense. What the heck? And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Well, thanks, doctor. Glad I could help you with one of your medical experiments. Beware, Franbo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Insanity. I'll just, friend, wake up. 
We'll talk after the cutscene. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Thanks, Mr. Midnight. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Ah, there's chapters. Perfect. <laughs> We're praying. I'm still here. Hideous place. Brain means for thinking. I have to get out of here. Alright. First off, couple of comments. I, I was wondering in this game, will it be like Yumi Niki where it's more... It's atmospheric, it has horror elements, but not actually a horror game. But I can safely say this has been... It's been pretty good. Very shocking scene with the pills, a nice jump scare. It is turning up to be a proper horror game. So, at least horror in my book. So that's cool. Also that scene with the devil it does feel like it's just a, a filler in like she's repressing her memory of I'm just gonna say the ant because that what makes the most sense to me but the ant like basically warning her don't you ever leave that place or I will hunt you down sort of thing so let's look around um there's some notes here we're 10 years old good to know Fran Bo Dagenhart's History, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The bold, dead, and hard family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different meditations and all have been cancelled because of side effects. So someone brought us to it. Because, oh, okay, yes, yes, I thought those might have been nurses grabbing us, but no, those were actually hooded figures bringing us to the asylum. Probably the killer. Maybe. Psycho. What? I'm not that for sure. Side effects. Affecting one side of me, maybe. We're 10 years old. Oh dear, I really wonder who brought me. Psycho, I'm not. Side of it. Okay. Gotta, gotta exhaust the dialogue. What's in the drawer? Lot good reasons to get curious. I should get the key for this. So, we can combine our items. Does that mean we can go there? Let's see the cross. Hopefully this won't <laughs> fall on my head when I'm asleep. I used to have that fear of things falling because I had this poster in my room and it would always fall on my head. We had, we had to keep replacing the tape. It was very annoying. I don't want to. I just woke up. I'm sorry for saying it. What is this? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before, huh? Oh, so <laughs> she got sick of it. What's this clown picture? It's very off putting. I would get your nose. I would get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. You know what? I'll, I'll say it. I don't mind clowns. I know they're a hot topic in horror, but they never, they don't really scare me, I think. Oh, holy moly, something fell. Nice. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. That's, that sounds useful. Well, it is, uh, it looks like this asylum has some security. A watchtower? That might be hard to go through, and that gate's probably locked to you. Tower defense, we have for you a crazy person called Fran. Or is it defense tower? Um, I guess that's my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. So the eyeballs mean moving. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. We got some tough security, but that's alright. We have some notes here. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. That might be Fran with the cat. Hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He f hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would 
show me where he is. Oh, she just messed up the word. I mean, writing in cursive at age 10, pretty good. Uh, let's go write. We meet some new kids. What is up? You have a little chest here. Oh, a secret bot. Shh. Combine golden hood with but I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, it won't work. So I let's examine this then. A little bot, it's open. A little bot, it's open. Right, so I can't use it. I, I I don't know. What what's the teddy bear? I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Uh, okay. What's this kid? Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Ask him how his day is. Every everybody says that I'm sick. They are just stupid. They always say that they are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside. The key. Is there a key in the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code in the office. A secret code to open up the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? The monster? Him. Well, oh god. All doors are closed now. You are a prisoner of my games. So maybe it isn't completely metaphorical. And nobody will help you escape. <laughs> that is... Spook. Leave me alone, I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Thanks, Phil. Did you find the Duchess Toad yet? It's in the office. I'm on it. I have to use a blue dress. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret miss mission. Let's see what happened to Phil. He's eight years old. Philmore Bronstone. History, the patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brunstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Oh, maiden. Oh, Mr. Wooden Horsey, are you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives, yeehaw. We got a chair? If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? To be seated or to not be seated, that is the question. Okay, okay. Of course it's locked. Just checking. So, we have the bots. We ha- I'm, I don't think the golden hood would open this, but it might. No, um, I'm sorry. You never know with these things. So we have a nurse. Oh, old wheelchair. My legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. Okay. I can't see through this window. I was more looking for the trips. Empty bottles, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, towels, I don't need towels. I mean, you never know. We might need it later. If we need to, like, create a makeshift uh, rope. That's the empty bottles. Okay, I understand. Hello, nurse. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days. Jesus. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? 
Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. S oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft. Accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Listen, lady. We're about to loot your stuff. Or leave. I'm looting. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse isn't still inside this room. She would just go crazy if I touch anything. I better go talk to her. I thought this was our opportunity, but I guess we're... We're being a good person. Which isn't a bad thing. Of course. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtain up? I've seen... No, what is a hook? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Listen, lady. That is... Oh, she's gone. This might be open now, actually. Of course it's locked. No, she's, she's thorough. But that's okay, now we can search her desk. Multitude of stuff. Let's check the band-aids first. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Beautiful. What's in the cup? Ew. Coffee? I know the feeling. When I was a kid, my coffee was like 20% coffee, 80% milk. Now, I actually don't mind drinking black coffee. I drank a lot in Japan. But if I... I still think I prefer like some cream. I don't put sugar anymore though. What's in this book? Violent trauma can have great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illnesses. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. That can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Frontal lobe. More. I do not know. That's fine, though. Made sense. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Traumas are a word that the doctors love to say. Hee <laughs> hee. That brain looks like a turtle. Good information. N nursing visit report. Gladys... Henna? It's Gladys something. Patient name Fran Bo Dorgenhart. The patient has has lost lost it's not lost. Has less lesser sleeping almost all the time. Has stopped has whatever. She I'm, I wish I knew how to read handwriting, but it's been so long. She some she only wakes up. Oh, the patient has longer sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water. I put. I something. Oh, nothing. She drinks water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and and asked about her. Um, and when she would come out to out to play, so we haven't been sleeping for three days straight. We've been waking up, getting water, and going back to sleep again. Very weird. Eight H is uh dual ties 8h that's what we took the nurse's handwriting is off okay maybe it wasn't just me it was very hard to read but i think we got it oops i upped the sensitivity i only understand three words friend sleeping and dual teen you know it is refreshing because every other game i've ever played on this channel i try to hide the cursor this time, it's a vital point of the video. Two things. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. 
I'll leave it as it is. I really need to get out of this fight. It's for security reasons. But yes, nurses probably shouldn't have a gun. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Ooh, we got two new things. We got a bandage. Tiny patches to cure wounds. My pills are inside, I know it. I have to cut the code. Hide. Mmm. Is it this? Hide. H I D E. So eight nine four five eight nine four five eight nine four five eight nine four five. There we go. The pills, the titty told me these would help me. I'm just saying, ever since that mad father lock combination <laughs> puzzle that took me like 30 to 40 minutes to solve, I have now become super, super in tuned with these sort of things. So, easy. We got the pills. Beautiful. Watch your step. Oh, it brings you to like a different world. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Empty bottles. Watch your step. Hello, Miss Nurse. Yo, that's cool. Is this gonna be a mechanic? You can like... Yo, we can go downstairs. There's someone in the window. They have noses and they're carrying my head. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. I like how she's just not uh, scared because she's a kid. Just go away, you weird creatures. It, it really is giving me some vibes of American McGee's Alice, especially the way she talks. Kind of love it. There's a dead rabbit. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. What does this do now? It's the same. The clown's gone, dude. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. It looks like he escaped from the painting. That's horrifying. This is great. I love this static. Holy shit. Get out, creepy creature. You got a little blood in your mouth, are you okay? What are you, huh? Please tell me. You like to see me sad? Get out, creepy creature. I, I'm just taking this in. So we, we do have a way down. We found something. Excuse me, lady nurse, this may be very useful. Small and sharp, this might fit somewhere. Combine needing needle with little bots. I thought it might pit the lock. Oh, so that was, okay. I'm glad we came this way. What about this? Is this a lot? Lot, good reasons to get curious. I mean, I don't know why a 10 year old would be able to pick a lot, so I'm guessing it doesn't work, but you never know. What, what's this? Who did it? Who brought me to this hospital? I'm telling you, it's Gray, since she's literally the only named character. So we can't find him. Blood, demon, find him. Who's vandalizing my drawings, dude? Philip, are you okay? You have a little buddy there. At least you look happy. Why are you looking at? I mean like that. You're terrifying. What is that black thing setting nuts to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Phil is playing with his uncle and his uncle is mad. Mad. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Who is this supposed to represent? Oh, it's his mother. Where's the teddy bear? 
How's the doll doing? Fine. You can see. When we're on drugs, we can see. There's also a deer. Oh no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. Oh, sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. I... It happens. I'll come back for you if I find... <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Deer. Okay, I think for good on exploration's sake, I hopefully we don't see a weird clown. But it's time to uh, go down. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. Is that Grace? But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. Okay, it is Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home. Now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Listen, buddy. Don't keep me from my... We're dying? Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she... Excuse me. I do have a burping problem. It was inevitable. <laughs> that doctor is no so I'm going home tonight. Okay, that it's it's gone. Anything new here? Am I gonna see a clown somewhere? Is this a fox on my bed? Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue, would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? I... I'm loving this. I, atmosphere City. We could go down. Let's see if anything changed to the left. Nothing changed to the left. Oh, we can look at the window now, maybe. There's a hand on the window. Kind of. Ah, uh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't an escape room. Um, I like the bunny swing thing. It makes me dizzy. Okay. Anything else happening? I think we're good here, unless there's something else to see. It's blocked off. Um, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. It's a possibility. So what do we actually have left to do? I guess leave. Try to leave. But it's probably locked. Of course it's locked. Alright, we're at a at a point. Where we might be a little a little stuck. Do I have to like sleep. Oh no, Foxy. I, what if I like take the pills? We go back to normal. Okay. Do we need to be in the normal world for some of this? Does this just look any different? No, it's still boarded up. I wonder what we could do. I doubt we can combine It doesn't make sense. I, you, sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta gotta try your options here. Can we take the gun? I guess not. Shooting our way out isn't a bad. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. What's up, Phil? I I don't know how to leave. And I'm not sure what my course of action is. And then there's like no way this is almost but there's another hole. I'll need something else. Huh? Oh wait, it so it was kind of an answer. Ah, oh, the shape's not right. Huh? So we combine them. That's what it sounds like to me. A little box, it's open. 
But there's nothing in the box. Small and sharp, this might fit somewhere. So we do need... Okay, let's try to demon world for a bit. Let me do something with the head. So we're missing something, at least according to this. There's like one thing. I'm guessing it's in this, because there hasn't, uh... There hasn't been anything else to do with it. Um, no, a lot for good reason to get curious, but I need to know. Why not? You would try it for the other thing. Any good ideas, Fran? I'm already lost. 40 minutes, huh? Can we really not use anything from these? I don't know. I... We're we're p trying out these things would be good, but I'm can we like store some towel? What? Oh, I just didn't use the freaking thing. I'm okay. You know what? My fault. And we can use this to open the drawer. There we go. It was something simple, but we just didn't know. Two photos. That's me, that's Grace, and that's our dead parents. Though it might be that way because we're in the in this weird way. There's a hair clip. I understand. Let's uh look at our <laughs> our normal picture. Okay. It's looking good. Very similar faces, but they are sisters. Alright. Do we need to be in hell? Probably not. I like it how it's double layered. So do we combine these? There we go. My own special key. It's it's expected. I did have problems with these sort of things in other games, but I will get through them. Yes to happiness. And we can't save in this game, right? It's an auto save. Well, we're at 42 minutes. I don't know exactly. Um, hopefully it auto saves per. You know what? Let's 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 just check check it out. And the door is open. Okay, we're gonna end it here. A nice 43 minute start. Actually, excellent start. I I I did come into this game thinking it would be good because of the praise it's getting, but I really didn't. It, know what to expect for a horror point and click game for some reason i i was expecting sort of an atmospheric which i i mean this is atmospheric but like creepy but not actually scary but this game's it's it seems pretty scary so far <laughs> um but yeah i think we did good we got we got the story started we know our goal we know what we need to do um we solve some puzzles Again, I was stuck on something where I just didn't click use on the bots. It happens to everyone, hopefully. <laughs> but thank you for watching, as always. Um, this will be posted fairly often. Um, predominantly, as of Wednesday, I'll probably be posting this a bit more. Um, I'm starting to fizzle down on Monster Train a bit. Um, but I will still upload a couple of Monster Chain and until like the Higurashi theory videos up I don't really have um, much to upload except for like SIWs on Sunday so you should see this pretty frequently and I, I'll be honest I'm super super um, stoked that's the word I was looking for. Super stoked to play this game because it's been a blast. So hopefully you enjoyed. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Again, if you like this content, 
Um, there will be more if you're interested in any other things I do. Like I said, down the couple horror RPGs. I've been reading Hidarashi as a main attraction to the channel. I talked about movies and TV shows and um, on my Sunday videos. But yeah, good variety. But yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want. And like or comment, I do respond to any comment within 24 hours. Usually, unless unless notifications glitch out. It has happened before, but I, I, I'm trying to be pretty good with that. So yeah, just once again, thank you for watching. I hope you had a great day, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye for now.